Welcome to Excel Basics number 8. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, in this video, we want to uh, talk about cell references in formulas. Here, our example is we have names, we have some grades for students, there's the max possible, and we want to calculate, create a formula that will calculate the percentage grade. <clears throat> I'm going to click in this cell right here. And we type an equal sign as the first character for any formula. And then I'm going to use um, my mouse for this one. I'm going to click on this divided by uh, this cell right here. Now, the way this we should read this is um, equals one cell to my left. Because when I copy this down, I want to always look one cell to my left. So equals one cell to my left divided by whatever's in B2. Now I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type equals one cell to my left divided by and I'm going to click on B2 again. You see how relatively we're always clicking one cell to the left but this formula always needs somehow to be locked on B2. I'm going to hit enter equals one cell to my left divided by and I'm going to click on B2. Notice um, B2 is being used every time. Enter equals one cell to my left divided by B2. Now, this is getting annoying. There's got to be a way in Excel, instead of having to create all these formulas by hand, there's got to be a way to tell Excel, hey, please lock on B2 or be absolutely uh, B2. Now, I'm going to hit uh, Control Enter because I want to show you what will happen if we actually copied this formula down. Notice, relative to the formula, I'm one cell to my left, and this one is one, two, three, four up and one to the left. I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter to put the formula in the cell and keep that cell highlighted. And then I'm just going to point to my uh, fill handle right there, and when I see my crosshair or angry rabbit, I'm going to click down one. Now, I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. Notice, <coughs> These are relative cell references. We talked about this in an earlier video. But the Excel obeyed us perfectly. It's looking one cell to my left and one, two, three, four above and one to my left. So this will not work. You see, it went from B2 to B3 and it went from B6 to B7. Control Enter, and I'm going to copy it down one more just to illustrate this. References. But look at this B8, which is one to my left, and B4, which is still four up and one to my left. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to highlight this whole range here and hit the delete key. Now I'm going to come up to this uh, top cell right here. I'm going to build that formula again and we'll learn how to lock one of the cells. I'm going to type an equal sign, click on one cell to my left, divided by and B2. Now here's the crucial part. There are two directions in Excel, up and down which is a column and left to right which is a row. So row two column B. Now when you're doing cell references we need to lock this and let's just skip the chase and say what the uh, keyboard shortcut is to put the secret code in. Hit your F4 key. Those two dollar signs have locked this cell references in both directions. The dollar sign in front of the B means if we were to copy it across columns it would be locked. The dollar sign in front of the two means if we copied it across rows it would be locked which is what we need. That um, F4 key puts in the dollar signs. Those are just arbitrary codes. They just had to decide something to uh, put in front of the column and the row to lock it. I'm going to control enter. And then I'm going to use my uh, double click the fill handle trick and send it down. Double click and send it down. That's copying it. Notice as long as there was something to the left, when it found a blank right there, it stopped one uh, cell above. Now I'm going to click on that cell and hit F2. Notice it worked. This one was always one to my left, a relative cell reference, and this one was always locked on B2. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to highlight this whole range and hit the Delete key. Now, um, click in this cell and let's do a formula equals one cell to my left divided by B2. Now, I want to uh, show you the F4 key again, but I want to show you that it's really a merry-go-round. I'm going to hit the F4 once and then twice. 
oh, look, the dollar sign is just in front of the row reference. Hit it again, it's just in front of the column reference. Hit it a fourth time, one, two, three, four, and it is back to relative. So that's why it's a merry-go-round. You can just cycle through all the cell references. Now, this means column and row reference are locked. This means just the row reference is locked. And this is what we need for our formula, because when we copy this formula down, we're going across rows, across rows. That's how I m memorize it. There's, there's other ways to, <coughs> to think about this. But that's it. Let's control enter and then double click and send it down. I'm going to click in the last cell, which is always when you're copying formula, you click in the last cell and hit F2 to see if it actually worked. And sure enough, it did. There's one to my left, and there's B2 locked. I'm going to click Escape. Let's go do in a second example. We actually have three examples in this video. Now I'm going to scroll over using my little scroll arrow here, and there it is. We have January revenues of 1,000, and we want um, in February to cre increase the from the previous month by 10%, and then in March, increase from February by 10%. In April, increase March by 10%. So we'll build a formula equals one cell to my left times, and then I'm going to click on my F4, and I'm going to use my merry-go-round key, the F4. Hit it once. Those two dollar signs means locked when it's going across the rows. Uh, dollar sign in front of the um, F means locked across the column, and that's what we want here, because we're going to copy this formula from the F column to the G column, and we want it locked on F. So I'm going to hit the F4 again and again. That's all we need, the dollar sign in front of the F. Control Enter, and then I'm going to drag it over and see if I can get all the way to May. Now I'm going to click in this last cell and hit F2. Sure enough, that's exactly what we want. Look at that. It's locked on our uh, percentage assumption there, and it's got the month to the left. I'm going to click Escape. Now let's go look at our final example. I'm going to go down to this table. Now I zoomed way out here so you could see the whole table. We're going to figure out the value of our pension. We have years here, percentage here, and here's our yearly input. Now I want you to highlight the whole range because I'm going to show you an alternative to having to copy your formula down and over. If you highlight the whole range up front, create your formula here, all you have to do is hit Control Enter and it will populate all the cells. Now I'm going to zoom way in here so we can see how to create this formula. Now, when you highlight a whole range like that, you got to be aware of where the active cell is. All the grayed out ones are not active. This is active. So we have to build our formula from the perspective of putting the formula here and then copying it down and over. We're going to use equals FV, which is future value. And it wants rate, number of periods, and PMT. Now, in, in other videos, I do the finance of this. We're just going to look at the... Um, cell reference aspect of this function formula. I'm going to click right there, and then the screen tip reminds us we have to put a comma, and then the NPR is year, so I'm going to click right there, and then comma, and then the, 3, 000, the PMT is our yearly uh, payment. I'm going to click down here, and then close parentheses. Now I want to ask questions of each cell reference. This G12 here, that's f for the 10%. When I copy it down across the rows, I want it locked. So I'm going to put my cursor in this cell reference and hit the F4 key twice. Now, this cell reference right here, when I move over to this next column, do I want it locked? No, I don't want it locked on 10%. I want it to move to 11%. So that's the one we need there. Now, what about this F13 years? Right there is 10. When I copy it over to the H column, do I want it locked on F? You betcha I do. So I'm going to hit F4 three times. What about when I copy the formula down to 15 and then 20? Do I want it locked on 10? No way. So no dollar sign in front of the 13. Finally, this F23, I need that in every single cell. So I'm going to hit the F4 key once. Now here's the magic. Once you have your cell references set up perfectly, you hold Control and type Enter. Now, we made a mistake here, so I'm going to come down here, put this into edit mode, and type a minus, because that payment is coming out of our pockets. And sure enough, we are millionaires. Don't forget to come to the corner cell and hit F2 and see that it worked perfectly. All right, we'll see you next video. Remember, as always, if you want to download the workbooks, go to the Excel is Fun channel, and then scroll down here on the left, and sure enough, there's a link right there. 
and these have uh, the workbook downloads Excel basics. You can even go uh, download my book. It's 144 pages and then print it out. And there's all the other links for the workbooks is the address right there.